Okay guys, I'm back with part 2 of Assassin's Creed 3, and I'm Sarah from Conicon Gaming, as always. And I'm on a ship! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! And you're like, this isn't Assassin's Creed 3, this is Assassin's Creed 4, what are you talking about? There's boats, I'm just, no, no, no. The graphics, honestly, are quite different, which is... Well, I don't know, maybe it's my computer. Oh, that's right. I'm a left-handed demon in this. Just kidding. I love left-handed people. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. They're okay. Go to the upper deck. Something I really hate about video games is looking at how spectacular they are. Because I know how much freaking time it takes to make it. And it's really sad. I want to explore. Oh, I can jog. Jiggity jiggity jog. Oh, hello. You look like you're dead. Then again, I'd be dead too if I was on a ship. You're painting. Oh, I can talk to you. Moment to talk. Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Payson Kenway. Pleasure. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to... No, I wasn't there! And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery, eh? So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More luring. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Is that it? Oh, well, nice talking to you. Uh, what was your name? I don't remember. Hello. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. Your beard is colored. If I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found Are you cutting him open? Fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind word. I don't remember his name either. I'm really bad at this. Are you a child? Because you look really small. No, you're just hunched over. What about you, huh? Scallywags! Can't talk to any of these. Ooh, can I? No. Play a game! I like games. Fanarona is believed to have originated Madagascar. It is played on a nine row by five column board of intersecting lines. Each player places 22 black or white pieces on the board, then tries to capture the opponent's piece by moving his along lines and approaching. Blah blah. This sounds a lot like chess! Yes! And I'll probably cut this. Oh, it doesn't look like chess. Use the piece selector to move pieces along the lines. Board approaching. Shit, I missed that. Uh. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know how I just did that. But. Hey! Hey! Yeah, bitch, because I don't know how to play. Uh. Shit. Yeah, I know. I know. Why do you get to go twice? That's probably a bad move. But you know what? I don't care. Watch him move like 55 more times. It's bullshit. How does that work? I don't know. Woo! That's bullshit. I'm going to lose. Bullshit. Yay, I lose. Congratulations. You lose! That was fun. Let's 
see what else. Oh look, animals. That's not dangerous and totally unhealthy and giving a bunch of diseases to everyone. Nope, not in this day and age. Captain? Hey look, I found the captain. I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard and apologize for any inconvenience that may have caused you. Inconvenience would be an understatement. People are so I'm polite. I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I have no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. And people are still assholes. Where'd you go? I'm gonna slit your throat. Oh shit, don't jump off the boat, stupid. Oops, okay. Come on. I look like a psycho running. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. So you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you be. Oh, <laughs> for Joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Graves! This. Oop, shit, 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 shit. Hit him. Oh shit, this bad. Oh yeah. Woo! Ah! Mills! If you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> yeah! Woo! We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. He's not covered in blood. <laughs> oh shit. How do you like these odds? Oh, now he wants me to stab him. Oh! Did he just cut me? Oh. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. He's thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. Loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> Designates an ally. Oh. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew... No respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. You're right! Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Ooh, shots fired! 
Excellent. <laughs> he just takes a drink okay. of his thing. <laughs> he fills it back up. Well, I guess we know who's my bitch now. Alright, so what we you doing? I guess I gotta go kill that guy. Did I? Oh! I mean left-handed. I guess you're ambidextrous. Or are you just trying to screw with me? It's night on the ship. Mr. Kenway. Captain? What Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I best get to work. Does this mean I get to go slice someone's throat? I hope so. He's got a rust. Night time, bitches. Dun, 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 Ooh, I'm wrestling. That's always fun. Oh, shoot. It's this Oh, it's this guy. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook. Or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Ha ha! Where are you, doctor? Shoot, where is... Woo, what's up, cook? Why are cooks always fat? Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys Holy cry shit, about the a big butt. as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice, go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Oh my god. Get off me, cat. She's starting to bite me. Okay. On the barrel. You're on. Nope, you're on. Oh, Jesus H. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. It's not exactly hard to ignore fangs being freaking like stabbed in your wrist. So you? Oh, it's you. Are you James? Hi. Nathan Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Follow me. Oh, what do you want? oh, I guess I don't have to follow. Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? Mutiny! All I know is they have little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. Now you're gonna kill him. I you're gonna kill him, aren't you? You're an asshole! You're gonna kill the guy that just helped you and throw him over the freaking thing! Oh, maybe not. Okay. That's good. I don't want to kill innocent men. <laughs> then why am I playing this game, you say? Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. 
Say care where you tread. Deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Why else? Weren't we just talking about this mutiny thing? Oops. Nope. Too far. <laughs> uh, where the hell do I go now? I guess this way? The green looks room. Or the room looks green. <laughs> That out that window. Most curious. I guess he's thinking the same thing. I guess this is my cabin. And now I'm right handed again. Okay guys, I'm going to end this uh, part 2 right here, and I guess this is going to be my last day on the ship, hopefully, because I don't can't see them doing more than 3 days, because it seems kind of like, you know, antagonizing, so, uh, yeah, tune in for part 3, which I will upload after this, obviously, so, thank you for watching, and I'll pick up soon. News. Each night is the same, I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes, maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted off! She's making ready. That's to a fight. really bad model. Feet to quarters, men. Ready thus. Brace. Everybody down. A warning shot. Seems they don't need to sink us, but board us instead. That's suspicious. The cannons. Make ready to fight. I want you below deck. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your captain. Or do I need to have you escorted? I know more than you could ever know. Secure the hatch! Nathan. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? Ho -ho! That, people notice? that we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Why do you look so Surrender, dead? <laughs> and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Cut off his head. that must be killed. Oops. Oh my god, he just hit me. Oops, that's... Well, that was fast. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. 
Great, now I'm gonna sink and drown. Alright, alright. <laughs> This is part three, <laughs> I guess, so maybe I'll just stick with this as part two because... We need those rooms secured! I told you this was madness! Arm yourself! I'll fix your sail for you! Prepare yourself! Okay. Alright, uh... Secure the sheep! Because it was my bright idea to sail into a storm! Okay, and I guess I gotta do this one. Okay. Anyway, okay, so yeah, um, sorry, I kinda had to cut the last one off, like, without, like, a nice spot. So this is part three of stair play, or part three of assassin. Get up the stairs! It's not that hard! Okay. <laughs> uh, part three of Assassin's Creed Three, and I'm Sarah from Comic Con Gaming, as always. Sarah Skippy doesn't matter. Is your like stuck inside the boat? No. Oh, that's not good. Where is it? There it is. Parkour. Kinda reminds me of playing Icarus Online. Or Guns of Icarus Online. I mean. Except, you know. That's right, now you appreciate me. How the hell am I gonna get up there? Can I get up like this? I guess I can! This isn't dangerous. Children, don't try this at home. Up, oh, get up. Up, damn it! I, I, I understand this is a weird angle. Oh, there we go. This is freaking terrifying. Holy shit. Oh my god! Please don't fall off. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Holy shit, that's terrible. Oh my god, this is bad. This guy's gonna die. Oh, I guess I get to save him. Or at least, sadly attempt to. I'll save you, brother! Oh, was that one guy? Shit! Day 72! Oh my god! He's on here for like two and a half months. I'd go insane. I'd kill someone. Oh, he has killed someone. Uh, <laughs> I'd kill more people. I'd throw up every day, every hour. I wouldn't eat anything because it's all poisoned because there's no refrigeration and there's no sanitary things. I would die. That's I, I, I would just die. Those look like those freaking vanilla wafers. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get to America. I feel like an immigrant right now. I'm like, yay, America! Can I? <laughs> Shit. I guess it's nighttime or. Is everything wet in here because of the freaking storm? Oh, here's how I get up. Uh... Oop, careful. Ah, God. Okay. <laughs> Make ready for our arrival. That's not man. where I came from, but. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You're not gonna find birds out in the middle of the ocean. 
Switch. Maybe we're not going to America. Maybe we're going to the Caribbean. But then again, doesn't that make Assassin's Creed 4? So, I guess that makes more sense. We're going to America. Going to America. Go, go, go. Get above the fog. This is exciting. I'm really excited. I want to see it. Oh, you can do it. Shit. Come on. I lost my momentum. Uh. Nope. There we go. These buttons are still kind of confusing to me. Oh, here we go. Christ, this is high up. America, America, there's no cities I see. Oh, look, there's a village. Ooh. Oh, shit, that looks cool. I might just take that and make that my thumbnail. <laughs> Journey to the new world. Oh my god, it's freaking awesome. Well, considering that last part was short, I need to figure this out better. How I'm gonna cut stuff up into pieces. I mean, you know, videos, not people or things or blood or bodies. Uh, ooh, sequence two, Boston, 1754. Holy little bit of lag because Buster there's Kenway. a million polygons. Buster Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? Yeah, with this amount of frames, I'm gonna have to change the setting. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Ah, but he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might. Well, oops, I'm until he arrives. so sorry. <laughs> yes, out with it. Forgive me, sir. I had, I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say. But I think you overestimate me. Impossible. Oh, sir. shit. This way. I'm going to stop you. Come here. Boston's quite a lively city. Ooh, come back here. How do I. Can I hit you? Look! Your orange is floating! Or your apple. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's not what I'm supposed to do. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunity? <laughs> he wants me to walk the streets. Okay, baby, let me get my G-string. We'll get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Find the general store. All right, so this is okay. This is part two. Next one is going to be part three. Okay, this one was a little long because I had a little ship thing. Alright, so now I'm finally here. I'm going to adjust my settings so I, the FPS is better for uh, part 3. Um, I need to go find a general store so I can buy the G-string so I can walk the streets, right? Am I right? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. So, thank you for watching Assassin's Creed 3, part 2. And I will have part 3 uploaded soon. I promise. I'm making a schedule. I'm going to play this because I'm actually really having fun. So, thank you again. And I will see you next time.